Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech, my name is Amata, today is the 3rd of June and this time I have some news for you regarding the AMD Radeon R9 Fury X as CVP and General Manager of AMD's GPU and APU products who goes by the name of Matt Skinner has gone on record and has that the Radeon Fury X will be very fast indeed and he said quote HPM enables us to build the fastest GPU in the world. Now we are still waiting for the card to be released in about two weeks, it will be on the 16th of June to be exact, however rumours and speculations are very much abound on how this GPU is actually going to perform when it's actually in action. Now you may remember that there were a few reports floating around yesterday that the Fury X wasn't actually going quite up to Nvidia's 980 Ti cards, however these reports were quickly squashed because the silicone for Fury X isn't finalised and of course the drivers are not even slightly close to being done. And of course it is possible due to the rather subtle changes in architecture with of course HBM entering the field, HBM are needing to do a bit of jigging on the BIOS and sorry BIOS should I say and software side of things. Now of course at this early stage it's pretty much impossible to know exactly how much additional performance the Fury X will actually have but taking a look at the leaked specs which is looking at 400, sorry, 4096 shaders running at 1.05 gigahertz and comparing it to the R9 290X which is of course a very beastly card in itself has 2816 shaders and 1GHz so you can at least start making some rough prediction in uh, of frame rates. Now that doesn't take everything into account so you have to at least consider well these leaks might not even be accurate, the number of shaders could be lower or even higher than reported so while you can start making predictions it's best not to put too much stock into those predictions just yet. Another thing to take into consideration, I know many things on the table here, is that the R9-290X is running with an older version of GCN but latest reports are saying that the Fury X will be running an evolution of Tonga. Now this is particularly crucial because Tonga has numerous improvements to the GCN architecture including a major evolution of how tessellation is handled which improves performance and the card adds better lossless compression which of course reduces bandwidth constraints. Now of course all of this kind of hinges on how much of a big deal HBM actually is. Of course AMD are very much touting it and it has the potential to be huge but of course it is very much a, a linchpin shall we say. If you take a second to analyse the increased numbers of shaders for the Fury X that, ha that actually has over the R9 versus the bandwidth improvements of the high bandwidth memory there is a higher percentage of bandwidth compared to shaders. Now obviously this is once again assuming numbers are accurate which of course they very much could be at this stage. So as I said it's a very critical point because as resolution increase for example 4k is what AMD are targeting strain will of course increase on the GPU's bandwidth considerably. So the Fury has the potential to be absolutely awesome or it could just kind of fall flat it really depends on the specs which of course are very much up in the air at this stage but of course do let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below and I'll see you next time.